Hi everyone, I'm Tony, and I'm joined here with Jared, another engineer, as well as Ken, a product manager, and John, a designer here at VMware to talk about why we think scalability is such a huge part of making great software. Jared, can you start us off by first giving us an understanding of what is scalability? Sure, Tony. Scalability is a measurement of an application's performance in response to changes in demand. Uh, for example, more users or more data. Scalability is often ignored early on in a project for the sake of getting an application quickly to an initial set of users for feedback. And this can result in future rework when the user base does grow. Jonathan, what are some design considerations when building a more scalable application? Yeah, that's a good question. I, I think as a designer, uh, it's important to ask, you know, think about the outcomes, right? Like well, how much do you need to show? People can only uh, take in or understand or really need uh, a certain amount of information, um, you know, in order to answer the question that they're asking or find the information that they're looking for. Um, so how much do you need to show? That's a great question. I think when you're considering um, the design, you know, early on in a, in a product um, development process. And uh, along with that, it's like when or how often does that information actually need to be displayed or updated? Um, so again, thinking back to what people are trying to achieve with the product that you're creating, um, and then asking the question of how much uh, information needs to be there and how often, um, you know, that can help to min minimize what you're asking the system to provide. Um, so it's about finding smart ways to navigate, you know, allow people to navigate and filter the results um, so that things are prioritized and that they're getting what actually matters the most. Um, you can still make a fully featured and rich um, experience, um, but you don't necessarily need to show all of the data um, at once, right? Or, or update it constantly um, to achieve the goals that you're going for. Tony, how do you architect for a scalable solution? First, I think you should discover what vectors your app is constrained. CPU, memory, or disk and network. Knowing which means you've implemented a good metrics collection system to track those metrics. With that, you can perform load tests with similar load data as expected to see how your system responds. Load tests are a for sure way for discovering scaling opportunities. Ken, for a product management perspective, what does scalability mean to you? Thanks, Tony. Like Jared said, when you're building a brand new product, you probably don't need to consider tens of thousands of users right out of the gate. But I think from a product management perspective, it's about being ahead of when you might. Being able to conduct the research to inform those decisions in support of what the business goals are and um, actually taking that information back to design some experiments to prove out how you might improve scalability of your application. And it leaves a lot of room uh, to ask your team how so Jared, I'd be really curious from your perspective as an engineer, how do you scale an application or increase the scalability of one? As a developer, I look for areas of the code that could cause issues under heavy load. For example, if you underestimate the amount of data in your database, your database queries could be returning a lot of data. So instead of doing that, you could use pagination to limit the amount of data that you're returning to your users. Another example is a long running user request. So instead of waiting for it to finish, you could run it asynchronously via a background job, and that would free up resources to handle more requests. Ken, after a team has decided to focus on scalability, how do you effectively balance trade-offs between scalability and feature development at the project level? Yeah, you have to understand them well enough. And the only way you can do that is by having conversations as a balanced team in order to inform those prioritization decisions around the trade-offs that you're making. Um, the things that you should be asking in order to get to that point are, how might we learn more about our current and future scaling needs? That's gonna look like market research. It's gonna look like some designs um, or experiments that you're running with potential users or even your current users. And the other thing that you're going to wanna do is really understand where in the application today are we already making trade-offs that we might need to refactor. Similarly to when we're talking about reliability of an application or its performance, these are really conversations that require the entire balance team, which is why I'm excited to be here talking with all of you today. So Jared, um, how, how would you wanna leave people with this conversation? I would say scalability is a non-functional requirement that the entire team should be considering throughout the lifetime of the project. 
That way you can continue to provide a good user experience and avoid large amounts of unexpected design or development rework in the future. Thanks for that message. I think we all agree. Thanks everyone for joining us today. Thank you.